Hi, Melanie and Danielle. This is uh, Caleb at Fraserway. Just wanted to do a video walkthrough for you on the unit that we have been discussing. So um, as I said, this is the first um, retail brand new Adventure 19RD classy motorhome that we sell uh, as we've been selling them for a long time, but they are all uh, X rental. So they all come from our rental fleet. So um, previously any adventure that you've ever seen on the road would have been an, a rental at some time. Um, so this is the first one that, uh, yeah, brand new, fresh from the factory. The only mileage on there is the 500 something kilometers, which was the travel distance from the factory to here. So um, here it is. We've had it in our showroom for all of a couple of days. <laughs> Um, and as we all knew, it, it, uh, it sold very quickly. So um, I'll just do a little walk around the, the outside and then we'll go inside. And please let me know if you want any more kind of closer video or photo or anything of anything specific. And I can do that as well. But um, yeah, for, for the sake of not doing a super long video, I'll just keep it somewhat brief. But um, so it's a 2023 chassis, Ford Econoline uh, E350. So it's a 7.3 uh, V8. Um, so for, for classy motorhomes, it is one of the better, uh, for, for fuel mileage out there, just being that it's a smaller, a much smaller, lighter unit. So our 19 RD has become a very, very popular option for class C years, um, just because it's very unique. There's really nothing else out there like it. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a very, very likable, very functional, uh, floor plan. And then size wise too, it's just very easily, <coughs> excuse me, easily maneuverable, um, easy to drive, easy to park, you know, at 19 feet long, it's, yeah, it's a very, very practical, functional size. So I'll point out a couple things here, but um, you've got an outdoor shower there. Um, you've got your 30 amp um, power connection there. Um, this is the back of the fridge, uh, just mechanical. You shouldn't ever need to go in there. Uh, six gallon uh, hot water tank heater. Um, you've got your battery compartment here and you've got a small little storage compartment in here as well. So um, I will point out actually, as we're walking around the outside, um, just as far as the construction for our adventure motorhomes go, um, it's a fully aluminum uh, frame. And then it's got, uh, the aluminum frame is an aluminum tubing with a wood insert in the core um, that's added into certain parts of the frame just for structural integrity and you know um, anchoring purposes for cabinetry and trim on the inside of the unit. So. Um, they're very well built um, and of course they are uh, insulated very well as well. They're meant to be four season units. They're meant to be uh, camped in and used uh, throughout the winter as well. So um, full four season winter winter package. As you can see, there's uh, dual pane insulated windows. Um, very nice feature there. Uh, you can see the backup camera up top there. So you'll be able to see your backup camera from the display in the unit. Um, you've got a sorry, a city water connection, spare tire. Um, the 19 RDs do not have a receiver yet. You can put a receiver on after the fact if you would like to do that. Um, and, uh, but the 19 RDs don't come with it. Um, another storage compartment here. You can see that's where your, um, your hose storage is. Small little compartment in here as well. And this is where your propane is. So there's your little um, walk around the outside of the unit. Um, it's, yeah, it's flawless. It's brand new. It looks amazing. You can see the awning has been extended. I'll just stand back so you can get a nice little view of the awning there. And yeah, so stepping inside You've got your control panel immediately to the left, um, fire extinguisher, battery disconnect, and a safety rail. Um, so you've got a couple light switches there. You've got your battery and your water tank levels. Um, stepping inside, immediately to the left, you've got your uh, rear dinette. Um, right now it's been converted into the, the bed. I'll take some uh, video and photo after with a dinette set up and everything. Um, little kitchenette here to the left, storage underneath. You, there's an outlet right here, and then storage above as well. This 
this would be for the microwave. There's an outlet in the back there. And so yeah, microwave, uh, three burner cooktop. This is for your lagoon table for the dinette. Um, three burner cooktop. You've got uh, your backsplash there for cooking and then you've got a uh, range fan as well. It's a light. And a little uh, small RV oven as well. Three doors. Um, all your cabinetry and your adventure units are going to be solid wood so it's all very yeah it's all very very high quality very well built and you can feel that as you're uh, inside the unit so you've got some storage on both sides of the uh, dinette above the dinette lots of storage and here you've got your thermostat for air conditioning and for um, heat and this is your solar charge control You've got a light switch there, and you've got a few uh, USB ports in the far back there. So um, obviously you've got lots of windows, so really nice natural light. You can open those windows and get some good airflow. And uh, that's kind of part of the reason why the 1900s are so popular. They've just got a really nice layout with the rear dinette with the windows and everything. So um, I'll do a little, uh, video and some photos with the dinette setup after as well so so you've got a two-way fridge a propane electric rv fridge um, big pantry storage here three more drawers on this side so for a small unit it really does have lots of storage um, you've, there's your furnace right there and uh, bathroom you've got the mirror you've got the little coat hangers there and uh, your bathroom is a one-piece fiberglass uh, wet bath, so no seams at all, uh, no leaks. So again, very high quality. You've got a little bath curtain there as well. You've got a little cover for your oops, your uh, toilet paper holder. Um, you've got your porcelain toilet, um, little medicine cabinet with a bit of storage in there, and then an electric fan for ventilation. And there's a bit of a, it's not a skylight, but it's a domed roof, so you can, there's quite a lot of space in here to be able to, to uh, stand up and maneuver around, so. Of course, you've got this ladder here. Um, this ladder, of course, you can store it right there so that it's out of the way. Um, and then here's your overhead bunk. So you've got the curtain there. You've got uh, two windows on either side of the bunk that can both open up. And then you've got an electric fan there. So lots of airflow up here, lots of light, which is really nice. And then you can see that there's some storage all along the front as well. And then of course this will flip up and give you a bit more uh, space in the cab in the front. Give you a nice little look here. So brand new 2023. The only driving that has happened on this chassis is the delivery from the factory. So you've got your nice little display there. Nice little look around. And so, yeah, there you go. There's a quick little look um, at the inside as well. Your uh, 2024 19RD on a 2023 chassis. So I have uh, locked the doors here and we'll put a sold sticker on it and it will be going through our shop shortly um, for its uh, cleaning and inspection, although it already does look like it's 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 already very clean. So um, there may not be a whole lot that we need to do, but regardless, it will be ready for you guys when you come.